Okay, cool. So we're going to just start from the beginning and, and, and what we're going to do also is create a folder. We're going to create a folder. Um, that way we can bookmark all the most important tabs that we're going to need. So first things first, click on see more on the left-hand side. Let's go to see more. And then let's go to the ads manager. So right there down, you'll see see more that little drop down. If you scroll down, actually just go, we'll bookmark later. We'll bookmark later, but let's get to the ads manager first. All right. So just click on uh, see more right below. You see, go down a little lower. It says see more. Ooh, one of these? No, way, way, way down, way down. You got oh. friends saved right there. Oh. See more above. No, not that one. The one above below the marketplace. Yeah, that one. See more. Okay. So click on that and then go to ads manager. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to see, let's see if you have a business manager. There's two different things. There's, there's the ads manager and then you have the business manager. Okay. Um, so let me see if you actually have a business manager, go to, um, click on the dots in the top left and then go to business settings. Yes. So we'll go to business settings and then this will let us know if we actually have a business manager. Okay, cool. You, you do. Okay, cool. So this is, this is your business manager. Hit the drop down in the top, le in the top left, right? Where it says Maria Nels, click on that drop down, and let's see what else we have here. Okay, perfect. So these are the two, the two different ones. So where it says your account, that's your ads manager. Every, every personal Facebook page has an ads manager. Um, every personal Facebook page. So your personal Facebook page is tied to that account, to, to that ads manager. But because we have a business and we're actually going to take it up a step further, we want to create a business manager. And so it's the business manager where you, which, which you already have set up, which is good. All I'm going to do is now come over here and fill in the blanks for you because there's a ton of stuff that needs to be filled in in the business manager. And that's what we'll do today. But um, it's the business manager where you're going to run everything out of. So you won't be doing that account no more. So your account, Maria, you won't be using that one anymore. We're going to be using the top one, the business manager account, Maria Nails. Okay. Yes. So that's the one we're going to be in. So why don't we start with bookmarking here? Let's create a folder. Um, we don't want to bookmark this just yet. Let's create a folder. So go to the very, very top and let's go to bookmarks and let's actually create a folder. And we're going to name this folder. Yeah. Add bookmark folder. Go to that one. Add bookmark folder. Actually, no, that's, that's bookmark. So hit cancel, go to add bookmark folder. Yeah. We want a folder because we're going to put a bunch of stuff in the folder down, add bookmark folder. Okay. So this, this folder, let's name it. Um, let's name it ads manager. Where did it go? Okay. Yeah. So let Is it Untitled. It should be, yeah, it should be that one, untitled folder. Let's go ahead and, 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 and maybe right click and, and rename it if you can do that or if you got to just left click or whatever. Yeah, rename, perfect. So let's name it, let's name it ads man. All right, no, we're going to name it business manager, business manager or Facebook business manager, whatever. But business manager is fine. You'll, you'll know it's Facebook. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, <Sorry>. put Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, put Facebook business manager. Perfect. Okay, that's our folder. We're going to start dumping a lot of stuff in this. So let's let this page right here be the first one. Let's bookmark this page right here. And we're going to we're going to call this one business settings. So actually, you know what, go to the right, click, click out of it, click to the right, just click anywhere on the right in the white. Yeah, click right there. Um, you're on people. So let's go to yeah, that's fine. Bookmark it from right here. So um, did I do it? Do I yeah. just yeah, no. So if you just go back into the top, go to, okay. the, yeah, go to bookmarks. Okay. And then just put um, add bookmark. Right add here. Bookmark. Yeah, it should be that one. And then you'll be able to put it in that folder. So hit that, hit the favorites, hit the drop down on the favorites and go to the, there you go. Okay. Bam. There you go. So, so take away the 35. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh. Take away the 35. Let's just keep this clean. Business settings. That's what we're going to name this one. Business settings. and add no description uh just business settings that's it no description okay. click on add click on add yeah perfect okay cool so now what you want to do is click on pages right below click on pages so just scroll down a little bit on the ads manager click on pages no above uh, you passed it pages right here. okay so right here this is where your page should be connected connected as well so perfect so so there's the page there's your name um, and you're good with this. So now 
go to the left, you are right below pages, you'll see add accounts, click on that one. So we want to make sure that the ad account is is connected to you, which it is. Um, that's your ad account right there, Maria Nails. So we're good here. Let's bookmark this one right here. And we're going to name this one ad account. So go ahead and hit bookmark, click on um, add bookmark. And then yeah, and then this right here is ad account. Actually, just one D, ADD, add account. Yeah, perfect. So that's this one. So click on add and then and then we're good. And Maria, I need, can you give me, can you, um, let me see, give me one second. Okay, so this right here is our pixel. So we're gonna bookmark, actually we won't bookmark it from here, but we will set it up from here. A pixel is what goes on web pages. So whenever you're running an ad, give me one second. Mm -hmm. Whenever you're running an ad, uh, I'm so out of breath right now. But when you click on the ad and it goes to a web page, so just like I showed you those examples of clicking on those ads, it goes to a web page. And on that web page, there's a pixel. And so that's how Facebook tracks who's landing on which web page because of your pixel. Okay. Does that kind of make sense? Yes. Okay. So this is just when you actually have like web pages, which you'll eventually get later on, but you'll need this to put on the web pages. So click on add. And I don't even think we could, we could probably somewhat set it up, but mm -hmm. we won't put it on anything just yet because you don't have any pages. Mm -hmm. But let's see if we can just at least set it up. So click on add. Okay, perfect. So you can name it, you can name it whatever you want, but leaving everything the same is what I want you to do. So if mm -hmm. everything is, is Maria Nails, let's just leave everything under that one name. So just go in and click on continue. Okay, so um, we won't be able to install it on anything. So um, let's just, yeah, let's just see if we can continue. So go ahead and click on um, set up the pixel now. And then right here, you're gonna click on manually add pixel code. So the middle one, and then it's that right there. So click right there that. You should be able to just click right there. Actually, scroll, yeah, right there. So boom. So now you copied it. That's a pixel. All them random characters right there. That's what goes into the settings of a web page. So like, I don't know if you've ever experienced it, but especially with you being a female, like if you're online, like searching for just, you know, random stuff, whether you're a female or a male or whatever, but I know like the example I'm going to give you, you know, you could probably relate to it. But have you ever been online where you're searching handbags or you're searching shoes or freaking clothes or whatever? Like you're you're on some random website where you're looking at different products, whether it's hair products, nails, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, maybe an hour later, maybe a day later, you see an ad from that company. Yeah. Okay. And then you're and then a lot of times we used to trip out. We're like, dude, how in the hell do these people know I was yeah, freaking looking like at this? they're listening to me. <laughs> right. Right. We all automatically we, all, we always think negative. And we're like, damn, these people are spying on me. But mm -hmm. but in reality, what it is is that that company, that website that you were on simply had a Facebook pixel on it. So because they had their Facebook pixel on the website, they were able to track it through Facebook. Now they're not tracking you by name and number, like they don't know your name, but they, they're just tracking the activity. They're tracking the fact that it came from your computer. Mm -hmm. A person from that computer landed on this specific web page. And that web page had a Facebook pixel on it. Okay. So that's why when you go to a website, you click on red handbag and then, and then you click on quantity, give me two of them. And then you go to the credit card area where you're, or the section of the website where you're, where you're about to put in your credit card. And let's say you don't, let's say you don't, all of a sudden you just don't, don't decide to buy it. Mm -hmm. The pixel was on that, that part of the website. So that's why they can, they can run another ad to you. So now what they do is they end up running another ad saying, Hey, we noticed you looked at the red handbag, but didn't purchase. Mm -hmm. Here's a 20% off discount code. If you buy now, okay. right. Very specific because they know you were on that website all because of the pixel. They they know that you were specifically on the red handbag part of the website because the pixel was on every page of the website. Okay. 
So that pixel code is how Facebook knows so much data of who's clicking on what. Because nowadays, if you have a website, most likely you have a pixel on it. Even if you're not running Facebook ads, a lot of times nowadays today, like in, in today's you know marketing or online world, if anyone has a website, they're at least smart enough to put a pixel on it, even if they're not running Facebook ads. So again, it just allows Facebook to track your, your ideal client. So we copied it. Now what we would normally do is go paste it on a website, but we don't have that just yet. So um, let's just hit continue. And then, and then just click on cancel. So, so, so at least it's set up. So go ahead and um, refresh this page. So when we do install it on an actual web page, that red dot will turn green. So right now it'll just be red and click on add people. You'll add yourself to the pixel. So click on add people. Oh, I see the red dot. Was there. Yeah, right there. And then click on, um, you should see your name over here. So go ahead and click on the circle. Yep, check the, the circle there. And then to the very right, you're gonna click on the, on the second one, manage pixel. Yeah, that one, perfect. So click on assign. Okay, cool. So now we got that, we, we added your name to the pixel. And then what we're gonna also do, which we may have to set up, or we may have to activate the ad account if it's not already, but let's just try to add it now. Try to add, um, click on add asset right there above, add assets. Okay, perfect. So click on that circle. Yep, that one right there, Maria Nails. Okay, and then go ahead and add. All this is, is the ad account. So the pixel is connected to Maria and the pixel is connected to that ad account. The ad account is where the credit card is tied to and that's the ad account that you're gonna be running ads to. Mm -hmm. So all we're doing is connecting everything right now. Mm -hmm. um, and so now what we'll do to the very, very left if, if not already, the Instagram account, click on that. Make sure your Instagram account is, is connected because I know you're big on, on IG, so perfect. So that's good. And then scroll down to the left. We're going to click on what we do need to do eventually. We don't need to do it right right now, but what you'll want to do eventually is, is get your own .com if you don't have one already. No, I don't. Okay, so eventually we'll, we'll want – in fact, you know what? Open up a new tab at the top. Just open up a whole new tab. Yeah, go to um, go to Google and just type in um, – yeah, go to Google. And right there in the search, just type in cheap domains, C-H-E-A-P, cheap domains, D-O-M-A-I-S, I-A-I-N-S, cheap domains. Oh. Right there, cheap domain. Cheap. Yeah, D-O-M, right there, perfect. And then all we're looking for right here is the 99 cent. Actually, you'll see, actually it's 2.99. Okay, so click on that GoDaddy for 2.99. Yeah, click on that. And let's just see if it's available and you can maybe pick it up later on, but go ahead and search Maria's Nails. It's, and it's whatever name we're, we're, we're rocking with. So whatever the one name is that you're gonna be switching all your social media to, mm -hmm. you also want that same .com okay. in, my, in my professional opinion, because we want everything to match. So marianales.com and and you don't need a full-blown website in this case all we want to do is at least own the dot com okay. so whenever we do get some type of web page you know we can connect it so oh shit damn that ain't the one you're getting okay so so it ain't marianales.com for sure um but if you look below there's there's other examples um maria dash nails so same one right here. I didn't do anything. No S. No S on that one. Go to, um, actually, scroll down. Let's see if there's a .NET. Let's see if there's a Maria. Actually, so so go to the very, very top and, and do a search again. Take away the .com and put .NET. Let's see if .NET's available. Yeah, so let's see .NET. Oh, it's taken. Okay. Okay, so okay. So then we'll, we'll figure out what domain we'll, we'll, we'll use, but Let's go back to the business settings to the business manager. That's just where we'll 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 need a .com eventually. Whenever we we do get to the to the running ads of everything, but mm -hmm. that won't be for a while. We'll we'll learn all this stuff first. But click on yeah that one right there. So we'll go back to go ahead and click on click on brand safety, and then just click on um, domains, and let's just bookmark it because you'll want to come back here to add the domain. 
Um, so let's bookmark this and let's call this one domains. Yeah, so add bookmark, we'll put it in that folder, perfect. And we'll just call this one domains, perfect. Okay, cool. So we'll wanna come back here eventually and, and add that domain. Now to the left, what we're gonna wanna do is just add your payment method. So you'll wanna do it right here. So to the very bottom left, we won't be running ads anytime soon, but you'll wanna put that in um, right here at the left. And you can do that later, but we can um, go to bookmark this. Yeah, go to bookmark this and then just come back to this page. And then you'll click on that blue button and just add your payment method. So, so name this one payment methods. Yeah, payment methods, perfect. So this is where the credit card will go um, for future Facebook ads. Mm -hmm. So now click on business info and that'll be the last one on this, on this page. So click on business info right here. Okay, perfect. So you're good to go. You're good to go. Scroll down real quick. Let's make sure that the email is verified. Scroll down my info below. Okay, perfect. So you're good. You're good right here. Okay, cool. So now let's go into the into the actual ads manager and let's go start bookmarking a few things over here. So right here in the business settings, that's what this was. This was the business settings is just making sure that everything is filled out, um, which is what we did. So so we're good here. We connected the ad account. We connected the pixel to your name. We 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 found the domain, which is under the brand safety. We um we we got at least the pixel somewhat set up, and then everything the business info. You're you're good right here. So now let's click on the dots at the top, um, and then we're going to go to we're going to bookmark a few more a few more tabs over here, and it's going to be ads manager. So let's start there. Click on ads manager. And then so now as you as you navigate through through this back end part of it all, um, by default, sometimes Facebook will have you in a different account. So right there at the top, you have two of them. You have two accounts. So that drop down right where you see 81735, Maria Nels, click on that. So click on see more ad accounts. So sometimes by default, Facebook will have you in the bottom one. So just always make sure you're in the Maria Nels. That's oh. the account that you'll be running ads from. Okay. okay, so let's bookmark this page right here. We're going to bookmark this one, and this one's going to be Ads Manager. This is where you run your ads from. So Ads Manager, uh, that's all we need here, Ads Manager, um, and we're good. So we'll click on Add, and, and then now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the dots in the top left, right below the home, and now we're going to go to, let's go to, let's go to Audiences. I'll have you start there. Let's go to Audiences. Um, and all we're going to do is we're going to bookmark this and we'll fill this part out later on once we have pages and web pages and all that. But this right here, go ahead and just go ahead and do you have any videos on your, on your, on your business page or no? Yes. Okay. Perfect. So I'll give you perfect. So we can, we can, we can set this up right now. Um, and, and we can just kind of briefly get it up, but this is what I was referring to as far as go ahead and click on create a custom audience. The first blue one. As far as what I was saying a, a minute ago on the red handbag and you online searching for different things and these, and these businesses knowing that you were on certain websites, it's all because of this. It's all because of a custom audience. So for example, if you can imagine, imagine going to a website and, and I'm on the homepage and at the very top, it has all the different products. I click on bags and then I go to that next webpage and then I'm looking at all the different bags and I click on the red one and it brings me to another, another webpage. And on that web page, it's giving me the description of the red handbag, right? It's a completely different web page inside of their website. I clicked on, you know, different pages now. Now I'm on a third page. That one red bag page is what that company has under a quote unquote custom audience. And the name of that custom audience would be red handbags. Mm -hmm. Very specific. So now as that company goes and runs another Facebook ad, they can run an ad specifically to every single person who landed on the red bag page. Mm -hmm. Very specific, right? So that's what this is all about. And, and that's website. So right at the top, your sources, that would be website. Let's say, for example, I have a video. Let's say I have a video and, and, and I'm running ads on a video. Okay, well, then that would be Facebook sources and that would be video. So with video, let's say your video is one minute long mm -hmm. and we're running a Facebook ad on that video. Mm -hmm. What we're going to be able to do is create an audience of those who watch it, mm -hmm. but also those who watch it for only 10 seconds 
or, or those who watch it for 25 seconds, right? It's a one minute video and we want to create an audience of everyone who watched it for at least 25 seconds. These are custom audiences. That's why if you, if you were to see an ad in the newsfeed and you sit there, it's a one minute video and you sit there and you watch it for 25 seconds. And then all of a sudden tomorrow you see another ad from that company. They're not just running ads for the hell of it. They're running ads because they know they're running an ad to you specifically because they know you watched at least 25 seconds of their last video. Okay. Audience. These are custom audiences. This is where your money's at. This is one area where your money's at because when it comes to Facebook advertising, it's all, or when it comes to just advertising in general, it's all about someone seeing your message multiple times. So if I can retarget, if I can continue to show future ads to people who either landed on certain websites of mine before or watched certain videos of mine before, that's a warmer person. If I can keep showing that type of a person my ads, before you know it, they're going to buy my shit. Or before you know it, they're going to click and download the coupon, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. Because now they've seen me multiple times. And that's the thing about Facebook ads. A lot of people try to run one ad and expect everything to happen. It's like, dude, it doesn't happen that way. You have to run an ad, create an audience, whether it's a video or a website, they land it on certain web pages, whatever. But you got to run the ad, create these custom audiences, and then run another ad to everyone who landed there. Run another ad to everyone who watched the last video. Run another ad to everyone who landed on the web, on the, on the red handbag webpage. Run another ad to everyone, right? So you want to continue to run these ads but to people who are engaging and they're either engaging by website because they're landing on certain pages or they're engaging because they're watching your videos or in your case, because you're, you're big on IG, what we're going to also do right now is we're going to create an audience. Actually, you know what? We're going to just set up one and then we'll go more into this on our third call custom audiences, but I'm just giving you an overview right now because you're big on, on IG. What we're going to also be able to do is create an audience of those who land on your IG. Okay. So, so in fact, let's do that one. Let's do that one. Click on Instagram account. Let's create a custom audience of those who are engaging with your Instagram account. Click on next. And then we'll bookmark it from over here. So, so that's the source. Nails by Maria underscore Maria NG. And then if you hit the drop down where it says events, what we can do is we have options. So we can create an audience of everyone who engaged with your professional account, which is your business account, Mm -hmm. anyone who visited your account's profile, people who engaged with any post or ad. So it's like, dude, if I put out a post on nails on my IG and someone clicked like on it or someone commented on it, I'm going to be able to put all those people in in a custom audience and show them an ad. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. That's why Facebook is freaking gangster, man. Like Facebook <laughs> is really, really like powerful. And, and when it comes to us business owners, like a lot of people trip on the privacy of data and they're always scared of, of all this data that, that Facebook is, is, is sharing. It's like, dude, I don't look at it that way. I'm a business owner. Like I need this kind of data. I'm not doing it because I want to freaking, you know, um, stock somebody. I'm doing it so I can get my message in front of the right people. Right? Like, Like that's what this is all about. It's like, it's, it's, it's creating relevant messages for your audience because you're a business owner. That's what this is all about. So um, choose anyone. I mean, people who send a message. So it's like, dude, any chick that sent me a message, because I'm sure, actually, I'm sure guys send you messages too. So I wouldn't do that one. Um, but, but people who saved any post, why don't you do, you could do, you could do um, everyone who engaged with your professional account. Like, so if anybody landed on your, on your, on your account, anyone, I would do that one. Let's do the first one. Anyone who engaged. That means that they landed on my profile on IG, they commented, they liked, they requested, they followed me, whatever. It's anyone who engaged. Let's do that one. So audience name, just name it the same. People who engaged with my IG. Mm-hmm. People, people who engaged with my IG. That's it. So, so Facebook is going to be able to track for the past 365 days. So they'll go back 365 days. Anyone who engaged with that IG account, they're Mm -hmm. all now going to be, go ahead and click on the blue button, create audience. They're now all going to be in a custom audience. And in the future, we can run an ad straight to them. Cool. Make sense? So 
let's bookmark this right here. And, and, and this right here, this can be your best friend. You're going to want to create audiences for all kinds of shit. People who watched my video, people who clicked on my post, people who landed on, on my freaking webpage, all that stuff. So we'll have fun and we'll get more into this later. But at least let's set up one and then just bookmark it. No, it's not engaged audience. It's custom audience, custom audience. So, um, and then, and then in this folder, you can create a bunch of different audiences. So custom audience. Perfect. So click on add. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So now we're good right there. So now let's click on the dots to the left. So this is your custom audiences. We'll, we'll come back to this um, on our next call. Now what we're going to do is let's go to billing. Let's go to billing because billing is super important. You got to know your billing date. You got to know what card is on file. Um, you don't want to wake up and all of a sudden, you know, freaking Facebook charges your account for 300 bucks. And you're like, holy shit, I didn't know today was the day. Like you don't want that to happen. So you always want to know when the hell you're being billed. Um, that's just always important. So um, this is the ad account, Maria Nails. So why don't you, oh, right there at the top, click on payment settings, right there at the top. And then we'll bookmark it from over here. Okay, cool. And then again, just automatically, you always want to make sure you're in the right account. So on the top right, we're in the right one. It says Maria Nels. Okay. And, and I only keep repeating that because Facebook, by default, a lot of times they'll have you in, a, in the other account. Okay. So um, this is the right account. So we're good. Your PayPal is on there. We're good. Um, it says there at the top, you'll be charged each time you spend $2 and also on the 31st of each month. So it's only the $2 in the very beginning because it's a brand new account. So Facebook, what they love is a, oh shit, what anybody loves is when a credit card goes through, right? Mm -hmm. So Facebook, they really love that. So when your credit card goes through on your first few ads and the transaction approves and the credit card's good, that's when Facebook increases the threshold. The $2, that's a threshold. So in the very, very beginning of a brand new account, all they're doing is they want to make sure that that card goes through. They're not going to let you run because if they're saying they're billing on the 31st, they're not going to let you run an ad or multiple ads and maybe let's say run up 700 bucks within that month. And then they go and charge it on the 31st and it declines. Mm -hmm. Like they don't want that. So they want in the very beginning, they want to make sure that that card is good. So they'll hit it two bucks, two bucks, two bucks, two bucks. Yeah. And they only do that. They only do that for, I think, like the first four or five transactions and then they increase it. And then you won't be charged until maybe 25 bucks. And then once, once your ads reach 25 bucks, they charge the card and then they increase the threshold. And then your, your threshold may be 125 bucks. So they're not going to charge the card at all until your amount hits 125 or the 31st of the month comes before that, whichever one. So it's either, it's either we reach the 125 threshold or the 31st comes first, whichever one. But, but once you get to the 125 threshold, for example, and, and then they go and bill your credit card and it goes through and everything is good, then they increase it way, way high. And then, and then now you're only billed once a month and that's on the 31st. Okay. okay. So bookmark this. This is billing. Um, you always want to make sure you can come back to here quick. If you need to switch up the credit card or the PayPal or whatever, um, you always want to be able to get back to this real quick. So this is billing. Okay, perfect. So now click on the dots in the, in the top left. And we're gonna go to um, we're gonna go to one more. We're gonna go to um, scroll down, and we'll see events manager. Where do you see that? If you scroll down, events manager. Yeah, click there. Okay, perfect. So now over here, we're gonna we're gonna save this page as the pixel because this is once we once we because we got to the to the part within the pixel where we can copy it. Where, we, where you clicked and you copied it. Um, that's one area where we can get to the pixel. Go ahead and just X out of this. But this is where you'll be grabbing it pretty much all the time for, for future copying and pasting. It's, it's gonna be in this section right here. So mm -hmm. click on Maria Nails right there the, to, the, to the top left. Yep, Maria's Nails. That one, one, that's the pixel. Yep, let's click on that. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna bookmark this page. So let's bookmark this and we're going to name this one pixel P I X E L pixel. Perfect. Add. And then there's one more we're going to bookmark and then, and then we're pretty much good. So hover over that blue triangle to the left 
and you're going to click on custom conversions. So click on that. Normally you can just hover over it, but okay, right there, custom conversions. So I'll explain what, what the custom conversion is later, but that this is when we really start running hardcore ads to capture leads. Um, you will want to set up some custom conversions. So just bookmark this and we're going to name it custom conversions. Yeah, custom conversions. CUS, CUS, um, not that it matters, I mean, but shit, just CUS, custom. Oh. Awesome, okay, and this is, so, so once we bookmark this, let's take a look at our folder and that should be it. So click on that Facebook business manager folder, the folder to the left. Let's see what's in there. No, actually to the very, very left your Facebook business. Yeah, that one, the folder, click on that. So in here we have business settings, ad account, domain, payment method, ad ads manager, custom audience, billing, pixel, and custom conversion. Those are your top nine. That's it. So when it comes to this entire Facebook ad platform, those are the top, top nine tabs that you'll ever need to know about. Okay. And so as we continue and go on to our next few calls, we'll start filling in all of that stuff. Yeah. So the business settings is pretty much done. Um, the ad account is, is, is pretty much done. The domain, we'll need to get a domain for that. The payment method, we're good there. The ads manager, that's, what, that's where we'll actually learn how to run the ads. Um, the custom audience, that's where we'll start putting in some more audiences. Um, the billing, we're good. The pixel, that's when we'll need to put it on a web page. And then the custom conversion is when we'll need to set up some web pages as well. Okay. So now it's all about just filling, filling in the blanks, okay. but that's the top nine. Um, okay. You don't really need to, to, to click on or really even know about much more. As you, as you really master these top nine, then you'll start learning more stuff about the platform. But really, right now, that's, that's, all, that's all you'll ever need to click on or, or even know about. So that's kind of our first call. Um, any questions at all? Hmm. Very good. I understand. I think I understand everything. Yeah, yeah. You'll and and again, as we really get into the into the really nitty gritty and learn learn how to run these ads, that's when you'll start having more questions and and learn even more. But we'll just kind of take it step by step, just so I don't overwhelm you with all this stuff. And that's that's step one. So I know you're super busy. Let's schedule our next call sooner than later. Yeah, um, yeah. and then and episode. then go from there. Okay. Cool. Yep. Yep. Okay, Maria. And, and, and let me, let me send you my link. I don't know if you have my updated calendar link, but oh, see, yeah. every time I go back into my email to click on that link, it, it's like, it erases already. Okay. So that right there, I just sent it in the chat. So that save that link, click on it, bookmark it. Why don't you put that in the Facebook business manager folder if you want, but how do I do that? or save it wherever, just um, click on the link. Where, where? Cool. So schedule our next call and then we'll, we'll continue and, and keep mastering this thing. Cool. All right, Maria. Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. Bye-bye.